What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 70s Die single player. Let's play this episode 30, and we've already got some uh, unwanted attention here. Um, not really going to worry about it. Let's go crazy and shoot some zombies. I know that I know this gun's loud. I just don't care. It's too friggin' awesome. I forgot this gun's pretty strong, so we can go for body shots. Except for that guy. Yeah, body shots, guys. How about that? I still want to continue aiming for the head. I feel like hitting body shots is like being lazy. Alright, when, when the uh, zombies walk on these little like walkway things, you might as well not bother shooting them because their pathing is so screwed up. We gotta watch out for dogs as well. I love this goddamn gun. We gotta watch out for dogs as well because uh, they are in this area. What we're gonna do is we are going to clear out this area and then we're gonna start building. We're gonna go home. I'm undecided on what I want to do at home. I, I was thinking about doing a time lapse where I'm mining. Um, I try not to do those too often, but I think we could do another one. We haven't done one in a while. I'm just not sure. And uh, if, if we don't do a time lapse, I'll just pause the video until morning. Um, this is day 24. Man, these uh, take out a lot of time. Uh, you know, between hordes, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so if, if you look right here, I did do some work. Um, let me grab this really quick. And just give you kind of a bird's eye view of what I did. There you go. So the, the pillar right here is going to have three sets of spikes around it. It's pretty much going to be... The spikes are going to be where they are. And then two two out from the house. Um, I went all the way around. I took down this, this thing right here. The front porch. And if you come around here. Took out a bunch of stuff here. There we go. Right, this house has seen better days, but um, I don't know. I think it'll be okay. Let's continue breaking it up. Very excited about this build. I want to do a lot of videos. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about maybe doing a little bit less multiplayer, but the multiplayer is doing pretty good. People seem to like it. Um, the multiplayer is a lot different from the single player. Um, some people are a little bit um, uneasy about the way we're doing multiplayer um, because we're kind of like messing around with each other and just kind of, you know, just... Uh, just picking on each other and just, you know, just having fun, you know? Um, for anyone here that watches the multiplayer series, um, don't take our our joking around with each other super seriously. We are just having fun. Um, some people thought that, like, we're fighting, and, and believe me, we are not fighting. You ever, like, uh, hang out with your buddies and you just, like, you know, just ragging on them all the time and just mess around and stuff? And, you know, that's kind of what we do. Um, so don't take that stuff seriously. And the thing I like about the multiplayer server is that it's a lot different than this Let's Play. It's a lot different than any Let's Play I do. And, um, you know, if you want to have a successful YouTube channel, I think part of the, part of the way to do that is to, you know, um, uh, be, uh, versatile, uh, you know, like have different kinds of video series. So, um, yeah, so the multiplayer series is a lot different than this series and, um, we had a lot of fun. And yesterday, um, we actually made seven, no, we made five multiplayer videos. We're only supposed to make three. So... I've got quite a bit of multiplayer stuff. I mean, probably only have to do one next week. Maybe not even that. Yeah, multiplayer's fun. Alright. There we go. Multiplayer comes with its own benefits and pitfalls in these types of games. Um, one of the benefits of multiplayer is that... Uh, um... Is that it's easier because I have people to back me up, you know. Like if I if I like a lot of a lot of people know I have bad allergies. If my allergies are kicking in, I can pause my mic and let my let my buddies, you know, pick up the slack for a minute or so while I'm like sneezing and stuff. Um, you know, it's a lot easier like that. But it's also a lot harder because uh, it's harder to cut stuff out in multiplayer. You don't have as much uh, you don't have as much um, that's what I'm looking for control. In multiplayer, so like, you know, if I want to cut stuff out, single player is a lot more controlled, so I can like control everything about single player. Can't really do that in multiplayer. So, you know, it's got its good points and its bad points. I, I have a lot of fun with it though. And we, and we, you guys should definitely be checking out the multiplayer um, server stuff because we have some crazy builds going on there. Crazy stuff. 
took over the police station and um, man we made some nut we made some crazy builds there nice another nice thing about multiplayer you can get a lot more done yeah we should probably be upgrading this as well uh, put that in there I'm still undecided if I want to break out the wood. I'll probably break out the wood and replace it. Um, the thing is, if I upgrade from wood straight through, it's going to cost me iron. Um, like 24 or 28 iron, I forget. We, we did the math at some point, but I don't remember what it, what it came out to. Um, but it takes like a, an uncomfortably large amount of iron to do the whole house. And with my with my skills, what they are, and my you know everything uh, that I can make um, with my steel axe, I could break out the, that wood stuff in like two hits. So I'm going to break out the wood and replace it with other other things and just do it that way. Um, where are my... There they are. Man, it's day 24 and this building's going to be done probably... It'll probably be ready tomorrow. And then all I have to do is make the walkway. There we go. Looking good. We gotta bring down a wrench for that damn thing. Okay. I need myself an axe. We need to make a new axe too, because we can now make blue items. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. What's my pistol skill at anyway? It's still 21, man. It's just. It takes forever, dude. I mean, I know I haven't shot off that much, but I've been getting headshots and killing stuff. I mean, I thought it was supposed to go up higher, like, quicker if you, like, kill stuff. Oh, mother freaking piece of crap. You know what we need to do as well that I've been forgetting to do, and I think we're going to do it right now, is go down and block up those those windows down there. And the reason I'm going to do it right now is because I keep forgetting, and I'm afraid that I'm going to forget, like, completely. So it's important that we do that. Okay. Uh, pickaxe. There we go. Okay, and then this. And then upgrade. And this. And upgrade. And then we'll do the same thing right here. I mean, we're gonna have our second building done only seven days after the, you know, seven days easily. Alright. Um, we should do the same on this side. I should go up and kill that zombie, but I want this done. All done. All right, let's go up there and regulate. Now you're really stuck in there, bro. Okay. Oh, oh, where's your head at? <laughs> Brothel. Owned. Alright, so... Do we want to head back now, or do we want to keep putting down spikes? I think we're going to upgrade these and then head back. You never want to leave spikes down as just wood, because they are extremely weak as wood. And zombie looks at them funny and they're just gonna fall apart. Alright guys, I'm actually gonna pause the video during the night. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go upstairs, grab what I need to take back to the base, head back to the farm, and I'm gonna be doing a lot of mining and stuff, and I will see you tomorrow morning.
All right, we're back. I just cut down a bunch of trees. Um, we did a bunch of mining. We've got a bunch more concrete. Um, I've got crushed sand with me, which, which was a mistake. I shouldn't have brought that. But um, that is okay. We're going to get back to some building. Um, inventory management will not be that much of an issue. There's a chicken there. I'm going to let the chicken go. I've actually got a 1,000 feathers at my base. And um, I don't really use the, the crossbow much anymore. So I'm not really going to worry about it. We're just going to start building. That's all. That's all that matters. Got to get ready for the 28-day horde. It's starting to creep up on me a little bit. Um, not really worried about it. I just want to get the building done. I might do some building off camera as well. It's a little bit easier for me to concentrate off camera. Um, so the building goes a little quicker. But um, not today. We'll be doing this on camera. I ain't gonna watch out for some dogs. I don't see any. Looks like stuff is still pretty cleared out. So let's go up there and get the metal. We also got to chop down trees around here. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to stop chopping down trees in my house. I should have chopped down the trees here. I wasn't thinking. I want most of the trees in the area to be gone for the for the 20, day 28 horde. And um, I'm actually going to drop my video settings as well for that horde. Just for the horde. Just because the lag is just... Just can't deal with it. Can't deal with it. I went ahead and made a uh, better pickaxe. A 449 pickaxe and a 449 axe. They are steel, right? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And um, I think once I get to high blue, I'll be able to start mining out rock with one swing. Um, right now, when I hit a rock under, um, you know, when I'm mining, it uh, it goes down to 25 hit points. So I think, you know, high blues, I should be able to uh, mine out with one hit. And then purples will be better because not only will I be able to mine out with one hit, but they they will the purples will um. They'll keep mining out with one hit as the tool degrades, because uh, you know as the tool degrades, it does less um, it does less block damage and entity damage. Uh, so, so as the tool degrades, um, it's going to do less and less. It's going to be less and less effective. And the higher level of the tool, the the longer it could degrade without it. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, once I have to swing twice, uh, that's no good. Let's punch this grass out of here. Last time we were here, we put down some. We put down some spikes in the wrong spot. Just, is that lag? It felt like lag, but I didn't have my FPS up. No, nah, I guess not. Uh, we're gonna need some more spikes. How many can we make? 118. Let's make... Oh, I don't know. 50. There, there, there. There. And let's upgrade these while we make more. We can also start upgrading the walls. Getting the uh, concrete has been a little slow because of the stone. Although I'm starting to get some stone built up at home. So I think we can start, you know. Basically, one forge has been quick enough to give me all the concrete I need. Which, if one forge is enough to give you all the concrete you can get stone for, then that means you're not, you're not mining enough stone. <laughs> Um, my last game, I had like eight forges giving me concrete, so. But I'm, I'm assuming they wanted to slow that down, and that makes sense. Can't have, you can't have like eight forges giving you all the reinforced concrete you're ever going to need. It's got to be, it's got to be a little slower than that. Um, I'm not thrilled with the nerf to the stone. You used to get a lot more stone in Alpha, four, in alpha 13. I'm not thrilled with the nerf to the stone, but I kind of see it that it was needed. The nice part about up, uh, repairing this brick is that it uses concrete, so I don't have to go out of my way to get stupid cobblestone for that. Alright, this is going to be a little tricky, so let's just uh, let's go up here. Oh, Freaking spikes. There we go. Okay. I think we have some more concrete up in our base, too, so. Alright, it's good enough for this side. I 
Well, at least the spikes aren't giving me bleeding damage anymore. I don't know if they changed that, or if I'm just getting lucky, but... Yay, I got 83 skill points to spend. What level did that say? I missed it. 72. Okay. Alright, so that side's good. I did bring a wrench. I didn't see that down there. That's okay. Okay. And I think we're just about done with the first two levels of concrete. And then we just have to do one more level. Well, not one more level. I'll probably want to do a few more levels, but... Once you start getting up to level 3 and 4, it's not as important. And the nice part is the rest of the work we can do from the inside. Let's take this out. All right, let's go to our other base and grab uh, the rest of the reinforced concrete. This base is coming along very nicely. It looks like we got a roaming horde. Should we deal with that now? We're gonna leave it alone. Screw it. I gotta build. I don't have time to be dealing with no freaking hordes. Hopefully they won't see me, but they probably will. Okay, uh, there's some wood. I don't see anything else in there of any interest. And there's my... Ooh, I do not have a lot of concrete. Hmm. That's not good. That's not good, man. It's probably going to be just barely enough, but... Jesus. All right, looks like we've got some issues here. Man, they walked right into the... Right into the hornet's nest, right in the middle. I mean, that's just death. Okay. All right, let's go inside. Start working from the inside. Now, we need to decide where the iron bars are going to go on this. Uh, well, the iron bars have got to go on the same level. So, let's go up top and see what's what. Alright, so the iron bars have to go on this level. Ooh, it's going to be a little tricky. Nah, not really. Not any trickier than it would have been anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and take this out. Um, it looks like the iron bars are on this level. Let's just, let's just double, double, ch make double sure. Go. All right, iron bars are right there. Okay. Yep, so that's the level the iron bars need to go on. Which means that needs to be concrete first. I wasn't planning on taking this roof down, but... Shoot, I really didn't want to take the roof down. Should we? Probably don't have to. Uh, let's leave the roof. Well, you know what? With the iron bars where where they are, we might have to... It'd probably be... Well, no, we don't have to take the roof down. We can just take these parts off. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Yeah, let's not take the roof down. I really don't want to have to. And what we'll do is, if we're not going to take the roof down, then we need to come down here and kind of build a little platform around the outside to uh, to work here, like so. I wonder if this is high enough. It might be. Oh yeah, this is high enough. Cool. We can actually get to it. All right, here we go. down yeah we're getting a 
lot more concrete. I'm gonna have to spend. I've been spending a lot of time digging, uh, trying to get my, trying to get my tool smithing up, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to work just on concrete now. I'll leave that. Nah, I'm not gonna leave it up. Never mind. Okay. Same level, huh? One, two, three, four, five. It's on the sixth level. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's on the sixth level. All right, fair enough. By the way, people told me that that building right there is the biggest building in Dyersville. So it'll never take more resources than that one. That'll be the hardest building to fortify, so... Okay. Oh, we didn't put the spikes down there. Let's put some spikes down here. Very important. Dep debating, I'm debating whether I want to spend the rest of the day off camera after this video. Just building. I might. We gotta get some building done. I know you guys like the building, but you know. No reason I can't do some of it off camera, right? Especially when it's just this kind of generic stuff. This game needs scaffolding. Right? I mean, scaffolding can be really sweet in this game. I don't know where I'm going to go after this place. I'll probably go over there. Um, I'm pretty sure that roof's going to have to come down from that house. Because the roof's too low. I won't take out the roofs unless I have to. Because once you take them out, then you just have a square building on top. And these buildings are square enough as it is. I like the roofs because they give you a, you know, a bit of a slope look. You know, I kind of like that. Although I guess I could always, you know, take it out and rebuild it. But, eh. I want to do that. Let's take this out. Okay. They come up about here. So, what do you guys think of this build? You kind of like it? Are you excited for it? I like it. I've never seen anyone else do it. I know other people have. Um, but I've never seen anyone do it. Going from building to building and making, like, just a network. Just a, a, an absolute network of safe houses for the horde. Once I get two, I mean, it's like having two separate bases. And then if my other, if my one base starts becoming a problem, I just move to the other base. The only question I have is where I'm going to keep my stuff. How do I decide which base to keep all my stuff in, right? I got a lot of skill points. I just don't know what to do with them. Probably pump some into pistols. You know, I don't know if I want to put... Maybe I should. I don't know. I don't know if I want to put points into pistols. It feels like a, a losing proposition, but... I'm thinking maybe go with the hunting rifle. A lot of people are singing the praises of the hunting rifle. I don't hate the hunting rifle, but the fact is it's bolt action. It takes a long time to shoot. You know, it might do a lot of damage, but if you actually look at the DPS damage per second... Probably not as high as you might think. I don't know. It's kind of the way I feel about it. I used the SMG on the multiplayer server the other day. It was, it was pretty fun. I still don't think it's a good gun, but it's pretty interesting. It's nice for a change. Oh, there we go. Alright, guys. I'm going to spend the rest of this time uh, building off camera. to hell with it um i'm gonna spend the rest i'm gonna spend like some the rest of this day building off camera and the rest of the night mining so the next time you see me it will be day 26 and uh yeah so we're gonna call this one here that's gonna be it for episode 30 we'll see you next time for episode 31 until then take it easy